Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a great Sunday so far. It is going to be a little cloudier than yesterday. Not bad if you'll be outside for long periods of time, but still grab the sunscreen today. But mostly cloudy skies expected the next couple of days. We'll see some breaks of sun throughout your Sunday. Overall, a nice day, warm and a little humid. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy for the solar eclipse. We stay cloudy and kind of muggy and warm the next several days early this week with our next chance to see some heavy rain and maybe a few stronger storms coming in on Wednesday with our next cold front. But as for your Sunday, temperatures getting to around 80 degrees this afternoon. Clouds in the picture, some tiny breaks of sun. Overall, a nice day, though it is going to feel a little more humid than yesterday, thanks to mostly south winds, south southeast winds expected today around 10, maybe 15 miles per hour. So a little bit of a breeze at times getting into the second half of the day. Temperatures probably topping out around 80 degrees this afternoon across the entire area for the most part, which is a few degrees above average for this time of year for today, which is 77 degrees, so it is going to be warm and will stay this way into the early part of the work week tonight. Now it is going to be mostly cloudy, feeling a little muggy. Temperatures will be only dropping a few degrees down into the 60s, both sides of the lake tomorrow morning, probably low mid 60s on the North Shore, upper 60s near 70 degrees on the South Shore tomorrow morning. There could be some very localized patchy fog early tomorrow with the added moisture but it looks like it won't be a widespread issue since our winds will kind of stay elevated the next couple of days. It's going to be a little breezy early this week. Also, our humidity forecast indicating that it is going to feel a little like late spring, early summer as we get into the early part of the week. Not terribly muggy, but a little humid every single day. Certainly feeling much more humid on Wednesday ahead of our next system. Once that cold front comes in, drier air will be here by Thursday. Lower humidity Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Beautiful, pleasant stretch of weather to finish up the work week and heading into next weekend just in time for French Quarter Fest. But before that, our upper level pattern becomes a little more active, and this is going to send us that unsettled weather for the next couple of days. Really Wednesday, that's the day to really highlight for the heavy rain and storms as this upper level low kind of deepens in the southern plains. This trough moves west to east across the country, basically sweeping across the entire continental United States. It'll finally pass by our area by Thursday and then afterwards nicer weather coming in starting Thursday. So tomorrow out ahead of that upper level system, we'll see added cloud cover in the upper levels, the lower levels. And so for the solar eclipse tomorrow, still expecting mostly cloudy skies across southeastern Louisiana and South Mississippi tomorrow. Now there could be some breaks in, the, in those clouds. Hopefully there will be some breaks in the clouds because if not, viewing is not going to be so great. So unfortunately tomorrow it's not going to be a perfect view for us here in New Orleans, but definitely try. Don't give up hope. Hopefully there will be some breaks of sun. So the Eclipse time starts around 1230 in the afternoon and goes until about 310 in the afternoon tomorrow here in New Orleans. And the maximum eclipse is around 150 tomorrow afternoon. That's when the sun will be 80% blocked by the moon here in New Orleans. So we'll see a partial eclipse here at home. 80% coverage of the sun expected if we can see it between the clouds. So fingers crossed we'll get some sunny breaks early in the day tomorrow. Even those in the path of totality in Texas and Arkansas also dealing with additional cloud cover. Hopefully they'll get some breaks in the sun too. We'll probably see more sunshine across the Midwest and into New England tomorrow. So better for them it is going to be a spectacular show. Definitely try to view it tomorrow safely if we're lucky enough to get a good glimpse of it because this is what tomorrow looks like with our precision cast across the area. Mostly cloudy. There are those breaks in the clouds, though, so that is something promising to look forward to tomorrow. But also there is a small chance we could see a couple pop up showers tomorrow right around the eclipse time across the area. They will be very hit or miss, but there is that 20 30% chance tomorrow. A stray shower, maybe even a rumble of thunder pops up, but mostly just a spot shower expected tomorrow in the afternoon. Not a lot, not much with that coming, not much expected with that coming tomorrow, but it is going to be warm and muggy and breezy tomorrow with mostly cloudy skies. Tuesday, much of the same, mostly cloudy, warm, humid, breezy. Some breaks in the clouds on Tuesday and maybe a stray shower or rumble of thunder Tuesday afternoon. Not much expected Tuesday either, but it's Wednesday. That's when really the action comes our way with our cold front and that base of that trough getting into our area. 
Early Wednesday, the GFS still indicating Wednesday morning will have some heavier rain across the area and maybe a few stronger thunderstorms, especially focused on the North Shore and southwestern Mississippi. But something to watch as this will probably change since it's still a couple days away. So rain and storms around with us Wednesday morning into the early afternoon, and then the front should start to wipe away all that kind of not so great weather by Wednesday night. So by Wednesday night, things will be clearing and much nicer weather coming in starting Thursday. European model similar thinking Wednesday morning is when the heavier rain and stronger storms pass by the area into the early afternoon. By Wednesday night, things start to clear and we look good into Thursday, Friday and next Saturday and even Sunday. So that's good. It's only really one day where we have to maybe talk about some severe weather. We are still highlighted for this slight risk of severe weather across our entire area Wednesday. It's the level two out of five risk. Something to watch, nothing completely out of the ordinary, but we'll be tracking maybe some stronger storms that can give us those wind gusts that may get up to 50 or 60 miles per hour. Potentially some small hail. Can't rule out a brief isolated weak tornado, so we'll be watching the chance for that. But so far, I think the biggest thing would be the heavy rain, the gusty wind potential, and we'll be watching very closely for a low chance isolated brief weak rotation, brief tornado, maybe some small hail. Again, check back for the latest. This will get kind of refined and kind of fine tuned in the next day or so to see what the biggest kind of threats are coming our way. But so far, something to keep in mind for your Wednesday. Nothing out of the ordinary. We see this from time to time, and it's not so big of a risk to stress too much about. Just something to keep in the back of your head. But tomorrow is the first thing to look forward to, and that's the solar eclipse. And then Wednesday is the second thing, which is maybe not something to look forward to, but we'll have some rain and storms to start your Wednesday off. So make sure you grab the rain gear before you head out the door. Wednesday we will pick up probably a couple inches of rain especially on the North Shore. So the rain can get hefty at times, something to watch and monitor. Isolated street flooding, certainly a possibility on Wednesday, generally expecting around maybe two to four inches of rain across the area. Here's your seven day forecast. Nice weather for your Sunday, partly sunny skies, a little humid temperatures around 80 degrees, lower 80s into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, warm, breezy, a little humid, Kind of muggy, especially Tuesday, Wednesday, mostly cloudy the next couple of days, Tuesday, Wednesday. There could be some breaks in the clouds tomorrow, hopefully for the solar eclipse. Again, maximum eclipse time here in New Orleans around 150 tomorrow afternoon. Wednesday, that's our day. Heavy rain and storms. Also, it's going to be windy outside of any storm. So kind of just a windy, not so great day. Warm and muggy still. Heavier rain and storms look to come early in the day. And by Wednesday night, things look to clear up. And then Thursday, Friday, really perfect weather. Less humid. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, plenty of sun. Breezy behind the front on Thursday. 75 degrees for a high Thursday. Upper 70s Friday and Saturday. Nights and morning is kind of get more on that refreshing refreshing end 50s for our low temperatures both sides of the lake definitely like that prefer that for sure so we have a really decent next couple of days it's just wednesday is our heavy rain and storm day and then the second half of the week we bookend it with some more lovely weather so thanks for tuning in to the wwl louisiana morning digital stream make sure you do check back this evening for the wwl louisiana news